A few years ago, we purchased a used Forest River Solara RV. The original owners had installed a clear film that was supposed to protect the hood, the cab, the bumpers, and various parts of the coach. The problem was that it stained and it won't come clean. After many hours of scraping and peeling, we now have a clean hood and a top, but the bumper had too many profiles and too many angles. It was too much of a task. I decided to purchase a new aftermarket bumper and replace it. In today's video, I'll be painting that bumper and replacing the old one. This is what I was talking about. This has that clear clear coating on here to protect the paint. Man, it just doesn't, uh, I don't know. It just, that stuff's a mess. So we were better off just to replace the whole bumper. Um, as you can see, it, it, it does not want to peel off. This stuff is terrible. Love bugs, it's all damaged, all cruddy looking. So yeah, we're gonna get this thing swapped out, get this new bumper on. Really gonna change the look of this RV. You can see, and then here, the clear is actually taking the paint off of the actual RV. So, yeah, what do you do with all that? Take it off and throw it away. That's the old one. Okay, just got this uh, bumper cover out of the box that came in. Uh, I don't really see any damage or anything on it. This is brand new. It's just kind of dusty, dirty. So what we're going to do is wash it down with like uh, Dawn or something like that. Try and get any kind of machining oils that they had from the molding process. Uh, there's not a lot to these things. It's, I think it's like a type of an ABS plastic or something. Uh, this goes to a 2012 Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter. And this is going to go on the RV. Um, I do finally figured out what the paint color was or the paint code. So we're going to try and get this thing shot and get it to match the body. And see if we can do a quick job on this and see if we can get some good results. So get started. All right, you can see all the oils. See all the oils beating up on here? The, the water's trying to beat or duck back. Uh, you don't want your paint to do this. So if you're going to paint one of these, we're going to try and get this thing prepped so it doesn't do that. So let me spray it down with a degreaser. Notice it's still duck backing, so we're gonna try a different approach here. Of it done. Let's see if, uh, see if we get a result here. Wow. Not as bad. It's getting better. I'll try and get those oils off the best I can. I already noticed with this texture of this plastic, I gotta be super careful trying to not use a, uh, a terry cloth. Uh, the little fuzz off the terry cloth was starting to stick to this. And you can see the little fur and that will, that'll mess up, that'll mess up the base coat. That'll mess up the paint job and just cause you all kind of problems. So instead of wiping this down, we're gonna use air and try and get rid of the excess. I'm going to 
try and use this uh, microfiber towel and just gently drag it across here while I'm trying to catch the big, the big beads of water. Try not to drag your hose across, that'll mess you up too, any garbage on your hose. Sweet. I'm going to be using a, uh, a fast reducer today. It's, it is above 90, it's pretty hot today. Um, I don't normally like to paint when it's this hot, but a little project like this, I think I can pull it off. Put two pair of gloves on. In case you have a problem, you can just take this one off or take that one off and you still got a pair underneath. Little trick. Okay, you're gonna let that tack up a little bit. We're gonna hit it again, probably two more times. All right, coat number two. Looks like it's coming out pretty good. So I'm gonna hit all the nooks and crannies first, and then try to blend it all in. I, I like to paint all the nooks and all the little hard to reach areas, because if you try to get it after you've already gone by, you can wet it out too much and it'll start to run on. Putting a uh, nice light coat on, get all the corners, all the cracks, all the nooks and crannies. Trying to get everything, a little bit of something on it. And then we'll come back and make it wet. This thing's textured, so it's a little tricky, but uh, I think we can get it. <laughs>
have just enough clear to get the job done. I guess I'm gonna do it. Here's the bumper, got that thing off this truck, got the new one all put back together, painted, turned out amazing. What a difference that it made on this coach. Check that out. Everything fits good, lined up well, very pleased with this outcome. Another good project from Funkworks Garage. Uh, thank y'all.